Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. Today is March the 29th, 2020. So three plus two plus nine plus two plus two is 18. So when we see 18 or eight, that's gonna represent today, what's going on today. Capricorn, you are tense. When we say 10, it's literally saying it's talking to you directly, okay? To you directly. Saturn, what's going on around you? Like the rings around Saturn, what's going on around you, okay? Um, and um, Earth is your element. So that represents um, domestic, home, family, job, money. So we see two and six, that's going to represent that. 19 will represent what's going on around you. So since 10 is saying Capricorn, you, even though these numbers add up to 10, if we see sevens or threes, that's referring to, um, you know, this whole kind of situation, your karma now, okay? So uh, now that we know what the numbers are, and when I, you know, refer back to it, you'll know what the heck I am talking about. <clears throat> so I'll put that up. Now, what I use is numerology and um, astrology. So astrology is science-based, just like uh, DNA is science-based to determine what you look like. Uh, astrology determines our sentient beings, our personality. 75% of who we are going to be in this life is predestined, just like our DNA. 25% is determined by our surroundings, okay? Our environments and our influences. So um, it's very science-based. And then using numerology, numerology is a language. So, you know, not everybody speaks English or Mandarin or Russian. So when it comes to universal language, math is the universal language. So that's why I use numerology. Okay. So starting out with numerology, Capricorn, we're starting out with four and eight. So again, eight referring to what's going on today. So persevering through manifestation, financial discipline. Next, we have a star seed number 11, a beginning upon a beginning, okay, individuality. We have five and six, change in love, change in love, a relationship change. Six and six, so another star seed number, so love upon love, love upon love, healing. And then we have parenting, love and um, cre creativity, communication, collaboration parenting next we have one and four the beginning of perseverance the beginning of perseverance moderation all right so now we have our baseline of where we're starting this off okay there's our baseline i'm gonna start to work up the layers building up the foundation <clears throat> today i'm going to be using whoops Um, sir, you cannot be on the table at this time. Thank you so much. Okay, today I'm going to be using the um, Tarot Grand Lux by Sarah Marchetti for my reading. I figured everyone was probably getting burnt out with my Dark Mansion Tarot card. So, whoopsie, I figured I would change it up a bit. <clears throat> Bring in a new deck. So, wait, what is going on here? I just flip my, okay. Um, I did go to the hospital. I finally made it. I went last night. So I'm definitely feeling much better. I had um, a bunch of breathing treatments, steroids, fluids, and all that fun medical stuff. I was a bit surprised that they did not do a COVID-19 test on me, considering I have 9 out of 10 symptoms. Um, they're doing tests on non-sick people, celebrities, rich, uh, governmental. They're testing on people who aren't sick. And the people that are testing positive, Eldris Alba, Tom Hanks, Rita Wilson, some governmental people have tested positive for the virus and they're not sick which I find interesting. I am sick and they didn't test me. It's very bizarre. So anyway, so I was in the hospital all night. So here I am now feeling better. So I'm going to do your reading. I'm trying to get caught up. <clears throat> now, while I am pulling your cards, I'm going to let you know 
If you would like a free reading, I'm going to be posting my number. All you have to do is um, call the number and we will set up a day and time for your free reading. I find that I'm saving the back of the deck to refer to a little bit later um, when we need to get to that point. Okay, I feel like it's just easier if you guys just call me and we'll just set it up because trying to do it any other way just doesn't quite seem to be working. Okay, starting off we have change in communication, collaboration, and creativity. So we have the eight of coins, eight, bringing in that manifestation again. We have change for, um, for the two or impatience. <clears throat> we have seven of wands. So seven of wands also represents courage, taking control, standing your ground. <clears throat> Next, we have again, five and three. So we have eight of cups. Eight of Cups is having to walk away or abandon something or being abandoned. Now, with <clears throat> keep in mind with the cards. <clears throat> Darn it, my voice. With the cards, the cards always mean two things, literal or figurative. It's about you or them, okay? It's either about you or the situation that you're dealing with or you and another person. It's either literal or it's literally what it's saying or figurative. Like say if a card shows you're pregnant, you're either literally pregnant or it's the beginning of something, okay? So keep that in mind. Keep in mind too in my readings, there's always two things. Either, you know, if it's if it's talking about you or, or another person or situation, it's either if it's a, you know, something that's like a bad card, let's say. Well, you have to realize sometimes they're the asshole, sometimes we're the asshole. We just have to be honest with ourselves of what's going on. Next, we have the Queen of Coins. So the Queen of Coins in healing. Okay, remember, coins is domestic. Home, family, job, work, money. Um, with the Queen, it's um, Queen Mother. It's Queen. It's maternal. Um, it could represent, um, you know, an older, not older, but like a more mature female. So not like a 20-something, not a kid, but, you know, mother type figure. Um, next we have parenting, okay, with parenting, um, which is interesting because with this one, with the healing, but this one we have parenting. So the next card I have is karma will change. Karma for the individual needs to change. Karma for the individual needs to change. Temperance, temperance is moderation. Right here we have moderation. So I feel like that needs to go right there. And so... Um, then we have the sun and we have the queen of wands. Queen of wands is, is, um, the queen of wands is Leo energy. Leo fem females are very, they're very masculine and female at the same time. Masculine and female at the same time. Also, we have the queen with the wands. Wands is fire. A Leo's fire sign and sun Leo is, is Leo sun fire so again we have the sun sign that would go um, following that there but I feel like it goes in kind of both places it's kind of like that um, so so the message here Capricorn is need financial discipline um, for you in this relationship okay um, that needs to change. We need healing. Um, we have parenting and moderation. So with this relationship change, mind you, a relationship doesn't necessarily mean boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. It could also mean parent, child, employer, employee, best friends, you know, whatever that is. But we do have parenting here. So I'm feeling like it's relationship change in parenting. Okay. So financial discipline for the individual, this relationship needs to change, it needs healing, um, and the parent needs to start using moderation, okay? So we might be spoiling a child here, perhaps, something like that going on. I always like to take the cards at face value, first and foremost, because just, you know, this is what it is. Financial discipline, it's an eight of coins. The eight of coins literally is saying 
work hard for success. So you have to work hard. Financial discipline, working hard, makes sense. The individual, here we have seven of wands. With that seven of wands, it's taking control. Taking control of this, control of this hard work for financial discipline. And then here we have five, six, seven, eight of cups. Eight of cups represents walking away or abandoning. And we have relationship change, okay? So walking away from this, um, a parent should never walk away from a child, but moderation, maybe not, you know, give as much financially, you know, to, to uh, let's say an adult child, making them be more responsible, making them work hard, okay? So healing this queen here, this Leo, we tend to want to helicopter and lawnmower parent our, our children. We want them to be better than we, we want them to not have to suffer, to not have to have hard times sometimes. Um, but sometimes it's better to teach them to be more independent for their own sakes. So here we have parenting, we have the queen of coins. Coins referring to money, perhaps over here with that situation. Next we have moderation. One in four is five is change. Change, moderation. We have karma for the individual needs to change. Temperance, moderation. So moderation with what we're doing here, okay? And then we have the sun, which is the karma for the individual and the karma. So there's karma for two people. So it's affecting both people, their karma and your karma, okay? Which leaves me all of this space. So does this other stuff come into play or not? Well, let's take a look and see if it does. Here we have the individual needs to change and we have the four of cups. As you can see in this picture, which speaks a thousand words, there's these cups in front kind of daydreaming and thinking about this cup and not really paying attention to this. Well, that kind of has to stop because we need to focus on hard work to move forward, hard work. This individual is um, the, the individual is karma. So we have the nine of swords, which is anxiety, nightmares, stress. Well, the individual needs to work hard to fix their situation to come out from that. And then we have the five, six, seven, eight. We have the eight and the eight, and we have the wands. The eight of wands represents taking action, moving forward. So instead of walking away from, they have to take action and move forward to fix this. And then next we have, again, this nine, um, which is the hermit. So the person that's wiser and older that knows the way that's been there, done that, right? So that more than likely being the parent. Okay, then we have the Queen of Swords, someone very much in control of their thoughts and their mind and what, what needs to, to be done and where it needs to go, which this is right underneath this moderation. And the very last card we have is Karma, which is the Ten of Cups, which is fairy tale home, happy ever after. So that's kind of like off into its side, right? And then the interesting thing is then we have one more, which is also Karma. So we have karma and karma, and this one is pentacles. So karma um, for home and money and domestic, which, which this is all kind of about, right? So we have between the two, um, the two of swords, not really wanting to see what's really going on, you know, not seeing through the veil, not, you know, we need to take action here and put this into play. So that being the, the, the one here, and then, we have the change in coins, change in coins, five of coins. With this five of coins, um, you know, we need to change this financial situation. You know, that needs to change. And then that's where we would stop for that, for sure. Leaving us with two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, sixteen 16 cards. The beginning of love. So this all here is done out of love. We love our kids. We want what's best for our, our kids. Okay. One in six, seven, personal growth. In order to love our kids, we need to let them personally grow. We need to let them grow. Because remember today is seven and three. Personal growth and uh, three, creativity, communication, and collaboration, which is 10, which is karma. And then we have all this karma coming into play. And then also 10, okay, 10. We have 10 here and we have 10 here. So remember I said when we have 10, Capricorn, that is you. That's representative of you, okay? 
So um, then we have their karma and their karma, karma for both here. And then over here we have karma for the individual needs to change. So that's their karma. This is your karma. This is 10 and 10. This is you, Capricorn. Okay, what you're needing and what you're wanting. So that's definitely about that. So that makes perfect sense. So we have 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 is intuition. Capricorn, your intuition should have already been telling you this all along, but you didn't want to listen. You didn't want to pay attention. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a message of love. One and six, a message of love, okay, for the individual. It's all coming from a place of love. Parenting, love, healing, love, relationship, love, okay? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Eight and four, right? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, the beginning of patience. Also three, here we have three, patience and love, okay? Patience and love for the individuals, you and the other person, persevering through, change, change, okay? What needs to change is this financial situation, for sure. That's absolutely the message here. All right, now, now I'm going to bring forward my, um, Oracle. So using a different Oracle deck, I'm using my Lunar Nomad Oracle. And these tend to um, be very short and to the point. They tend to pull very few cards. And um, they give a really good message, though. Oh, one more. Okay. Okay. So we have three, letter two and seven, patience and personal growth, patience and personal growth. So it's kind of literally written out here. This, this is all written out, patience and personal growth, seven, eight, nine, nine. Remember Capricorn, when I said you get a nine, that's what's going on around you, that one and nine, what's going on around you, okay? And then we have the dog, 18, that's today. Remember 18 was today loyalty being loyal okay a parent's always loyal to a child a child's not always loyal to the parent okay but that breaks down to a nine which is complete okay complete loyalty so i know you try to stay very loyal and do what you can for your kids but sometimes you know what's best for them is is you know is a hard road sometimes remember we had 22 intuition 22 22 right there the path 22 follow your intuition that child has to walk their own path that's the message there they have to walk their own path and we have three okay creativity communication and collaboration so we have three we have three and 16 which is 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 patience and change okay five and two I'm sorry. Oh, can you, sir, stop. So what do we have? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25. Five and two is seven, personal growth. Again, personal growth, their personal growth. Okay, their personal growth. Now, whoops, sorry. I have a situation. I have to go very quickly. I have a animal that's trying to dig food out of a bag that just came today that I've been trying to feed them all day and they wanted no part of it. Now that I'm busy doing readings, they want to dig into the bag of the new food. Okay, please, oh, that's so many charms. So many charms. Okay. All right, so what do we have here? Oh, we have the dog. So there's the dog. The dog came out. We have the bird, okay? Then we have this, um, the scissors needing to cut it out, needing to cut it out. And we have the woman, so we have the mother, the parent, 
And then we have the uh, squid, which is the star, which is the star, we'll call that the clover, luck. We have this one, which represents male or man. So possibly the child. I don't know if you have a male child, but that would be that. Okay, so if I pull those cards, let's see what that is here. See, right here we have 10. 10, Capricorn, that's you, 10. There's our shears right there. Okay, see that? There's the scissors. So that's that's Capricorn. That's talking about you, Capricorn, okay? It's Capricorn. And then we have the bird, okay? There's that bird right there. With this bird... We have 12, 1 and 2, the beginning of patience. It breaks down to 3. Again, with this parenting, this 3, creativity, communication, and collaboration. And there's um, the bird. Okay. Then we have, keep going. And we have the woman. So here we have the woman, which is represented by a mermaid, because it's the only woman charm I had. 29, patience, complete patience. And 11, the individual, okay, and the individual. All right, and next we have the man. Representing there, we have the man, two and eight. Patience and manifestation, okay, that eight coming in for t representing today, patience for today, eight, nine, ten, breaking down to a ten, which is your karma now. That's representing your karma now. And then we have the... Got the bird, <gasps> the dog. Mm -hmm. and we're looking for the star and the clover. Okay, there's the clover. And there is the star. Okay, this right here. You can see here, like that octopus kind of thing here, the stars. Um, that is one and six. We had that before, one and six. <clears throat> the beginning of love, seven, personal growth. Seven, also pulling in your karma now. Okay, so bringing that in. Then we have clover, which is two, which is patience. Between the two, we have this clover that you can see there. So that's bringing that in. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so now let's add these up pulling in these cards so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine so nine there's your complete oracle read right there nine this is what's going on around you remember with that nine so we have nine, and then we have two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, we have sixteen, okay? <clears throat> sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. We have a total of thirty-one, three and one. So we have um, creativity for the individual breaking down to four, perseverance, okay? Persevering through. So there is your reading, Capricorn. Um, I hope it resonated. I hope you understood that and got that. And if you would like a free reading, <clears throat> then this is what I need you to do. I just need you to call this number and um, request your free reading. And that's all you have to do. Ready for it? Okay, this is all you have to do. Text or call that number, okay, for your free reading. That's it. That's all you have to do. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it so much. And please like and subscribe this channel in order to get that free reading. Um, and let me know what you guys think about it. And, um, you know, how it's how this message came through for you. 
okay? And I really hope you guys are staying safe out there. Stay quarantined until, you know, this passes and get you and your families through it, okay? Sending you lots of healing love and um, caring. Bye, guys.